Hello everybody, today we will discuss about survival analysis using RR Studio. And this is a question that's raised by one of my followers and I will answer as much as uh, possible. So let's start the definition of survival analysis. Survival analysis corresponds to a set of statistical approach that used to uh, investigate the time it takes from an event of interest uh, to occur. So this uh, that means survival analysis is used in a variety of uh, disciplines. Maybe you can use for the medical, especially if you want to study uh, the patient with uh, a certain framework of time, and maybe in sociology for event history analysis, and also for engineering for uh, failure time analysis. So there are uh, different uh, methods to carry out the survival analysis using our software. There are, uh, there are three today, but we will only focus on the Cox uh, proportional hazard model. This uh, model is essentially uh, a regression model that commonly used uh, in uh, medical research for uh, investigation of the association between the survival time of patient with uh, one or more predictor variables. And uh, as I mentioned before, there are uh, different methods to uh, determine the survival analysis uh, in our software, even in, 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 in other software. The first one is the uh, Kaplan uh, Mayer curves, second one is uh, log rank tests. Uh, also, in addition to this, they will do a survival analysis. Uh, but uh, their problem is only uh, they will analyze only for the univariate uh, analysis. And they describe the survival uh, according to one factor under investigation. But they ignore the impact of the other predictor or the other uh, covariates, uh, the other covariates. So in addition to that, uh, the two methods that means uh, uh, kaplan mayer as well as the log rank test are uh, useful when the predictor variable is uh, categorical. That means, for example, if your treatment is maybe uh, A or B uh, or get uh, male and female, so they only focus on what? On uh, categorical. So they have two drawbacks. Two, uh, drawback. The first one is they only uh, go analysis for the univariates, as well as the second one is they only work uh, when the predictor variable is uh, categorical. So they don't work easily for the quantitative predictors such as uh, weight, age, uh, age maybe, and just like uh, these predictors, they are not uh, working. But uh, the solution for such condition is using the Cox proportional hazard uh, model. This is an alternative method uh, that um, works for both qualitative, uh, qualitative uh, predictor uh, variables and for uh, categorical variables. In addition to that, the Cox regression model extends the survival analysis method to assess simultaneously the effect of several uh, risk factors on survival time. So let's go to our analysis. In order to uh, do survival analysis with our software, you have to incorporate the package that's called survival into your R software or R studio. So you have to run to, uh, uh, you have to call the survival package to R and uh, for, th for this tutorial I will go on analysis uh, for uh, the data name is uh, lang and we will deal uh, or we will do or do a survival analysis uh, on this uh, data so if you want to check or to view your data type view and uh, write the data name in the parenthesis so type this and you will get all these are the uh, data that's found in uh, Lang. So let's back to our 
uh, issue yeah then if you want to uh, if you want to know about your data frame so you have to type the question mark and write the data name so it will give you detailed information in the uh, bottom right side of our R studio and uh, here is the lung cancer data and uh, uh, this indicates just the institution code. This is the time in survival times in day. The status is sensoring status, which colors to one, uh, and censored, uh, uh, which is sensoring status one, which calls to censored, and two is dead. Age is in year. Uh, sex uh, male is equal to one, female is equal to two, and uh, is also defined in this way. And the rest you can uh, deal or you can read by typing this question mark on top of your uh, data name and after that uh, I, uh, I I will fit the uh, the Cox proportional hazard module using the uh, Cox pH function and here is the survey function also help us to do that so time you have to indicate here is time and it's followed by status and all the remaining thing that you are seeing or the related one are the other covariates. So one of the advantage of Cox proportional hazard model, it can do analysis for both univariate as well as multivariate. So and again, you have to indicate your data name is equal to rank. So type this and submit to your studio, then you will get uh, a result by typing the summary and uh, write this cox into this parenthesis so you will get detailed information over here and as you see here the likelihood ratio test the wild test and the score or the log rank test are statistically significant so and again you can check all these uh, multi uh, multi uh, or the covariates the uh, factors uh, survival and the second option is doing uh, it will give the same result to the first one so if you are interested um, this one you have in similar fashion you have to use a cox um, p8 then survive function and you have to indicate time and the status and uh, here you have to indicate that means uh, as a, this means uh, all the data that found all uh, it, it indicates that uh, all covariate that's found in data that uh, going to be analyzed in this method and here you have to indicate the data so all the remaining covariates will be come instead of writing this long sentence you can uh, squeeze by typing this one so if you type this you will get the same result so let's run this so both of them are yielded the same so you can uh, choose the best method of fitting the model and uh, and again you can also uh, make a plot so in order to do that you have to use this uh, the survive fit function and then run so easily you will get the plot in this form so as the time increase as the time increases from zero to uh, here is a 1000 day maybe mm -hmm. and so the survival rate also uh, decreases into this point in addition to that if you want to see all the effect of coverage that changed over time so you have to write the all uh, all the predictors or the covariates in, in this way and you have to use the function this function you have to use this function in order to collect all the in order to see the effect of covariate over time so type all this and submit to our studio and you can uh, run this one so it will give you uh, this uh, point in addition to in addition to that you can also use the summary function in order to get a complete a summary result. So type this, and uh, it also give you uh, detail 
information for your survival analysis. Uh, furthermore, uh, furthermore, if you want to see uh, this effect of uh, all covariates on uh, on a time, that means the effect of covariates that change over time, if you want to display on graph, so you have to use the autoplot function and write what what created it here. So type this and submit to our studio, so you will get the uh, effect of all. Uh, into one so uh, let's zoom in so by this way you can uh, check the variables are this and here is the time so you will uh, get a graphical explanation for the survival analysis this is all about today's tutorial and uh, before uh, that sorry before that if you want to save this uh, final uh, a graph or figure you have to use a ggc function and you can give any name that you want assign here is df and if you find if you want to in the form of png format you can do it this way or in the jpg you can do in similar fashion and you can increase or decrease the wheels as you wish and even the head too so this is all about today's tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and provide you provide your Follow the comment and have a nice time.